Just a quick heads up to let you know that I'm really looking forward to seeing you all on the webinar tomorrow at 11 uh, LA time and also um, to give you an update to what will be happening. Um, as you are probably aware, I have um, asked you to ask me anything. So basically, a uh, lot of questions uh, came like this. I just purchased the LG9 TV to be used as a client reference monitor. I want to calibrate it. Can it be calibrated? How to do it? This one came, for example, from Villian Aleman. Um, but there was quite a few of you who asked similar questions. So I really wanted to uh, help you clear the cloud of doubt whether LG can be used as a reference or not. Uh, and basically I have invited Tyler from Kalman to join us tomorrow and help us understand how best to do it. Clearly everybody's using this monitor and certainly people must know how to calibrate it if they are able to use it uh, in such a, you know, critical environments. So hopefully Tyler is going to help, you know, get rid of any, uh, like a doubts whether this monitor can be calibrated or not. Um, also, I'm updating Color Lab at the moment to version 2.0 and I'm uh, making it compliant with these two standards. Um, one's uh, SMPTST 2084 and the other one's BTU 2100. And there is an interesting way how they explain HDR and how they look at HDR. And I just really wanted to give an update on that. We should kind of know standards. So I just want to give you a heads up with that. Also, a few more questions like this one from uh, Doug from Tokyo. One of the things that is confusing me is about confirming the performance of the monitor in HDR versus SDR. This is also one for Tyler. I hope he's going to be able to get that one answered as well. Also, a um, couple of questions came from Alexander Sadovsky. Um, he said, since I recently almost always worked in Rex on a nine timelines and enjoyed the linear feel of the color wheels, now that I have to deal with HDR more often, I find it less straightforward to work on P3D65 or RLOG C timeline color space, especially in order to have a deep blacks. Would you have any tips how to get that linearity feel back? Of course. And then also um, there is a question from Alexander, which is interesting. It says, when working in Resolve Color Managed Workflow, what time and color space should I be using if I'm still delivering only the Rec 709? So, it's promising to be a very interesting webinar, one not to be missed tomorrow, Tuesday, February 25th, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. I hope to see you all there.